from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of OutSystems Next Step 2020, brought to you by OutSystems. Hi, and welcome to the Cube's coverage of OutSystems Next Step. I'm your host Stu Miniman, and happy to welcome back to the program. He's relatively fresh off the keynote stage. Uh, he's also a Cube alum, uh, so happy to welcome Paolo Rosato. He's the founder and CEO of OutSystems. Paolo, thanks so much for joining us, and thanks for having the Cube at your event. No, it's a pleasure, Stu. Glad to be here. So, you know, your keynote, uh, you know, one of the big themes we've been talking about for a, a, quite a while in the industry, of course, is uh, the growth and importance of developers. Um, and, and something that I heard loud and clear uh, from, from what you and your team are talking about, uh, it, it's really about helping companies, you know, it's move faster, it's be more agile, and it, it's really expanding. Uh, you know, we need more developers, we need them to be able to on-ramp faster, uh, and especially here in 2020, as I said, you and I spoke earlier this year uh, at kind of the early stages of the global pandemic. Uh, right now, we know it's you know we we can't have people slow down, even when they can't go to the office. Even though a lot of developers were were dispersed as it is. So if you could you know give us you know just your high level you know your customers, the developer community uh, that that you're welcoming here to the show. No, absolutely. I I, I mean we're we're really excited about this event. Is a this has uh, gone way beyond our uh, wildest expectations in terms of uh, attendance and all of that, and it's been it's been absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, what what we've seen uh, uh, what we've seen is a, is a growing demand from enterprises uh, for solutions that are extremely differentiated. Um, you can actually get software, you can get uh, digital systems out of out of the box, but uh, there's a, an increasing number of of, uh, of of systems like portals and uh, workflows and applications that you actually have to infuse with your uh, with your business process, with your intellectual property, uh, with you as a business, and therefore you have to build your own software. And so the the amount of software that's being built inside organizations is increasing. It's 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 increasing to a point where these uh, these enterprises are facing all series of issues related to uh, to tool proliferation to skill sets the fact that they cannot hire enough uh, developers enough architects enough secops people i mean the, the skill sets are just staggering and they they hurt because they are they want to build this software but the, they have a lot of difficulties in finding the the tools and the and the skill sets yeah, it, it, it's great to come to an event like this and hear people, they're excited about building applications, they're, they're, they're getting into code. Um, it's been almost too easy this year, Paolo, to say, oh, there's so many challenges, uh, you know, at home everyone's fighting over bandwidth and space, um, and, and there's those challenges. So, you know, we, we need to be able to see kind of that, that joy into what uh, I, I can, when I can build things and, and get things done. So, you know, how are you seeing that? You know, what, what, what feedback are you getting? Um, and, uh, you know, as we said, 2020, we all know was a challenging year. Yeah, it's, it's been a challenging year, but it's also, you know, it, it's also been a year of, uh, year of opportunities. And we, we see that um, all over our install base and our prospect base and, and our partners and our community. And in general, these, uh, these, uh, these events uh, at OutSystems have a very different vibe from your typical corporate event. Uh, because one one of the things that's uh, that's unique about our systems is everyone who comes to this event have built something unique, and so uh, and it, it's 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 very gratifying when you're talking with with customers and you're talking with developers. The one thing they want to talk about is how they fixed one particular very unique problem that they faced using our systems, and they exchange these war stories about how fast they were and how quickly they managed to overcome a particular challenge or uh, when they got the change request from the business that was, we need to do this in, in two hours or 24 hours, or whatever horrible uh, timeline that they get and they were able to do it. It's these stories that get uh, exchanged around the, 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 the next step floor in, in, in this event and, and this one, has been going on exactly as we've seen the other ones, which were physical events uh, in the past. 
So, so Paolo, uh, on the keynote stage, you talked about the fact that you've now got over 1,400 customers, you've got 300 partners. Uh, you're not just some you know, new startup. Uh, OutSystem's been around uh, for, for two decades now. Talk a little bit about you know, your growth, uh, some of the innovations that are, that are driving uh, customers and uh, in increasing uh, you know, where, where they're coming to OutSystem. No, absolutely. I mean, the, 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 the major, major uh, innovations that, that we have been doing is we, 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 we have been focused a lot on addressing the need for speed. I mean, the, 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 the cycles of innovation have been compressing in the past years. And every year there is a, there is a further compression of the cycle. And so business are coming back to developers, are coming back to IT. They are some of these business uh, uh, some of these business folks departments are completely autonomous in terms of what of building some digital systems, and all of them have this need for for speed for very high productivity. And so we've been a lot of our investment has been first and foremost in how can we make all these folks way more productive. And uh, we've been doing a tremendous amount of uh, of research into the anatomy of building these, these applications, understanding what are the, the typical most common patterns, abstracting them, making them really use, using a lot of AI and machine learning to create, um, to create a, almost like a, 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 a artificial bots that can help developers move quicker and, 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 and create serious applications with big architectures without making mistakes, but very, very quickly. Um, and therefore, uh, when, when we, we provide this, uh, this, this extreme speed, we make sure at the same time, and this is where a lot of our innovation also comes along, is, uh, uh, is this notion of building these applications right, which is you, you, you have to be fast, but not at the expense of lack of security, lack of scalability, lack of availability, non-observability, you know, all these things that are, that you don't really pay attention when you just want to create an app and put some functional uh, requirements, uh, design something into either an app or workflow or whatever. But when you're scaling from 20 users to 1 million users, you need to make sure that you can do that. When you're exposing a portal to the external world, you need to make sure that uh, you're not going to be attacked by hackers or you're going to have a, a denial service attack or and your mobile application is completely shielded and secure and cannot be penetrated. All of these things are things that are all part that cannot be at the expense of speed. And so that's what we try to do. We try to bring together this speed, increasing speed, but at the same time, building fast, building it right, and making sure that as you evolve, that your application is evergreen, doesn't create technical debt, so build it for the future. And, and we focus a lot on these three things. Yeah, I definitely heard that theme uh, loud and clear. Uh, I'm looking forward to actually, I've got, so Gigi, your head of products, uh, to walk through some of the announcement. Also got your head of AI in, uh, the really fascinating stuff as, to, uh, you know, like emails do, they kind of, you know, start making suggestions and, you know, it feels like the technology is getting better. It's not, not like it was a few years ago where it was like, I just want to turn that off because the, the suggestions were slowing me down rather than speeding me up, but, but moving faster. Um, you know. What I want to get to, you talked about uh, that flexibility of change. Really one of the big challenges you know, right now is there, there's always new technologies, there's new opportunity, I need to move fast. So how do I make sure that I can do something today and not be you know, locked out of that next new thing or be able to make a change? So how do, how do you make sure that you, you know, you've got an architect we said that, that's now been around for, for decades, but you know, meeting the needs of developers, helping to bring on new developers, um, that you, you make sure that you can stay, uh, you know, always modern, if you will. No, that's a, that's a, that's a fantastic question. It's a really good point. I mean, one of the trade-offs of, uh, uh, one of the easy ways of building these, these type of products or platforms is uh, you, you actually, uh, your visual modeling, your abstractions, uh, the things that you build so that you increase productivity, 
in a lot of um, um, in a lot of scenarios, the easiest path is towards linking uh, whatever technology you're going to power these applications to the way you build the modeling. Um, and one of the things that uh, that out systems as 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 always done, we we design our platform from day one with the perspective that we knew the underlying technology, name it uh, web stacks to Kubernetes to on-premise uh, virtual machines to containers, uh, serverless uh, uh, technologies, uh, micro application servers, all of these things, we knew they were going to dramatically change in the next years. And, and, and we've been proven right in the sense that not only tech, underneath technology or technology that, that's used to build uh, these applications have been changing, but they've been changing faster. And the turmoil of technologies that you can build applications is, is accelerating and creating a huge problem for enterprises that want a certain level of stability, but they don't also want to become whole. Uh, old. And so uh, the OutSystems platform allows you to build your applications at the layer where we at OutSystems, we can replace the underlying technology without you having to rewrite the application. And because of our technology, you can basically just republish or we upgrade our platforms and automatically your applications will run on the next best of breed technology that's now hot and that is providing you extra scalability, extra security, uh, extra uh, high availability. We take care of that and we show you how we do it uh, because we, we're following those type of standards, but it's really around the architecture of, uh, of the product. At the same time, uh, at the level of the development of the modeling and uh, all of these things, we make sure that there is a certain level of stability and we keep on improving it so that we can bring developers into our community and those skill sets are constantly relevant as they move from customer to customer, as they move from simpler applications to highly complex ones. All the investment that they've made on our systems gets uh, rewarded in the next two, three, five, seven years. We have a community, we have members of our community that have been with us for more than 15 years and we want to keep it uh, that way. Well, that, 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 that's impressive. I, I'm curious, you know, we've, we've had this discussion, gosh, how many years ago was it that now that Mark Andreessen said that software is eating the world, Paolo? Um, it, it, so, so many companies now, you're talking about, you know, building software, building that application needs to be a, a key thing. Um, you know, the role of IT just servicing the business uh, isn't enough. IT needs to be tightly tied with the business and that capability of building software, doing things fast and reacting uh, is so important. So what does what this kind of these waves coming together mean for OutSystems, the growth of the company and, you know, I, I would have to expect that some of your, new, your newer customers look a little bit different than the ones that have been with you for 15 years. You know what? It's, it's, it's actually interesting that uh, the problem that we're solving is a, is, is a very basic, very old problem. And so it's just that what, the, what has changed in the, in the recent years is that uh, before it was acceptable for an, uh, an IT person to go to the business and say, this project is going to take three years, or this new report or this change that you want to put in your application is going to take a six months or three months to go into production. And today that's an unacceptable answer. Um, and so today with these type of platforms like OutSystems, this provides, a, it, it provides a tremendous, uh, pleasant life for the guys who are actually developing and delivering these digital systems, these applications, because the relationship with the business is a much more constructive one. Uh, instead of you saying no, 
oh, I want this, uh, I want this new mobile app. And, uh, and someone coming back to you, okay, give me 2 million and uh, give me uh, 12 months or 14 months to build this, uh, this app. Now you can go back and say, okay, well, that, that's going to take me one week and I have Alpha Guy ready to build that for you, that first version. And they can work together with you so that we get those requirements right because we know that the mobile application is going to be, it, the, the first version we're going to produce is not going to be the one you want. And so we want to iterate. That conversation is, is the holy grail of what we always wanted in the relationship between IT and the business. And now we, we have it with, uh, without systems. And that's the, that's the allure. Now, if you look into the tens of industries, this particular type of characteristic, this, this dynamic between business and IT and, and, and building these things exists in every industry. And that's why our target addressable market is so huge. And that's why we're growing so fast at this point. Because it's a, re it's a capability that everyone wants. And before, it just looks magic now. Uh, before it was considered impossible. And that's why people didn't ask for it. Well, pa Paolo, uh, t talking about that, that growth and that potential, what, what, what's your commentary on you know, the skill gaps out there? You know, how do we onboard uh, more developers? You know, what, what, what's, what's the opportunity and the challenge that you see out there, uh, just re really when you talk about the future of jobs in this space? Well, um... What, what we see is that, uh, for instance, we, we measure, we are very scientific at health systems about looking at the anatomy of skills and uh, uh, what are the skill sets needed to build what type of systems. And it's not the all or nothing thing. A lot of uh, people try to sometimes simplify and say there's this notion of the professional developer and the business developer or or even the citizen developer, which is a term we don't really enjoy adult systems uh, that much. Um, but it's this very binary separation. And what we've seen in reality is that there is a, a continuum, a spectrum of skill sets that we can pile up and we can create and develop uh, uh, tools and capabilities, for instance, in the out systems platform that allow us to take an increasingly larger number of backgrounds and people to build an increasingly larger number of more complex applications. And so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a moving target, but the potential is that the, the shortage of computer science grads that exist today in the world, uh, and it's not only in the Western world, it's, it's all over Asia, Latin America, places where you'd consider that you'd have enough talent to fulfill the demand. Demand is huge compared with, uh, uh, with that supply of developers. And so at being able to, for instance, tapping on, on the STEM, um, the science majors, uh, being able to tap on uh, uh, social uh, grads uh, like uh, architecture, um, uh, architects and uh, normal civil architects and uh, um, uh, social engineers and, and, and all of that, all of those profiles, we have found that we can bring them into the out systems community and then they, uh, have them complement the, some of their natural skills with some technical skills and being able to actually produce uh, these systems. And so we, by doing that, we multiply by 10 the pool of available resources to our, to our customers and to, uh, to the enterprises who want to build software, but they're facing this issue of the skills shortage. Well, Paolo, we, we've got a great lineup uh, for our coverage with theCUBE. I've got a couple of your customers. I mentioned some of the executives. I've got your, your head of developer and community on there, but want to give you the final word, uh, you know, takeaways you want uh, you know, the, the, the audience out there to have, to understand about OutSystems today and the strategy going forward. Well, well I think what I, what I wanted to say is that we've, we've proven that uh, we've been around uh, for some time. And the reason for this is because it takes a while to build a product that's truly comprehensive and powerful enough 
that you can build complex, serious applications very quickly, but that are also uh, that do not uh, the, 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 that you don't have to uh, be facing a wall of security, of scalability, and all of that. So this is a platform that takes a long time to get right. It takes a lot of input from our uh, from our install base. It takes a lot of uh, um, uh, a lot of learnings from all the uh, hundreds of thousands of applications and projects we've seen. But today, our customers can take that benefits and move forward very, very quickly. And, uh, and we're going to stay around for many years to come because it's such a pleasurable job to be able to help all of these enterprises become as innovative as they can and as fast as they can. So I'm, I'm really excited about being in this position as we have today. Well, Paolo, uh, really a pleasure for us to be part of this event. Uh, thanks so much and uh, definitely looking forward to talking to the rest of your, your teams, your customer and the ecosystem. Thank you, Stu. Stay with us for more coverage. I'm Stu Miniman and thanks as always for watching theCUBE.